Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on a Monday, May 8th, 2023. Just trying to cook up this NBA playoffs per usual, man. One in one day for us yesterday on the jam session. We had uh, the Sixers as our top play, our favorite play on the board, man. On the money line, plus money. It was a sweat, man. They tried to give it away in the end. Boston tried to come back and take it. Marcus Smart damn near did take it in overtime. Shot was just a little too late, man. We got out of there with a dub with the Sixers on the money line. We've now hit 8 of 11 on that $19 NBA Gem Session play. And then in the other game, we did miss it. We had the Nuggets on the money line as well. Uh, as I thought the Nuggets would win that series in pretty quick work. thought the Nuggets had them in five. Devin Booker, Kevin Durant. Been shooting the lights out down there in Phoenix, man. I'm interested to see if they can continue that shooting in Denver, man. All the series are super tight, super competitive. Um, we got another series. We got two series today. Also trying to tie it up 2-2, man. Super excited about tonight's action. And if you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through. Seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, can be found over at Pick Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page. There, you can find both my top plays, including that $19 NBA Jam Session play I was talking about a minute ago. We've hit 8 of 11 on that play, including that nice winner last night with the Sixers on the money line. You can also find my MLB play of the day, man. We've hit back-to-back -back on that play as well. Just trying to keep it rolling. Just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward, man. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ, and I will be back later on today with my live show, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, as I bring on a guest and we just run through the NBA card one more time, possibly look ahead um, to what's coming down the pipeline this week, and uh, I just love chatting hoops with my guest and y'all in the comments, man, so come spend some time with us later on today, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, man. We got just two games tonight, man, but I'm super excited for both. Uh, we got the Heat in Miami. I know how I feel about that, man. And we got what I've been saying, the best series, I think, of the year. Lake Show and Golden State Warriors, man. Let's make some money tonight. And without further ado, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the New York Knicks out on the road facing the Miami Heat. Heat laying four and a half, total 207. Miami has a two to one series lead in this series. We're still in Miami in this one. Um, the Heat won game three in Miami. I was on Miami in Miami, which is very rare for me. And you know that if you follow the jam session for any duration of time this season, my favorite money making spot this year was to fade Miami in Miami as they were the worst home ATS team in the league. They won games at home, but cover spreads. No, sir. Miami just did not do that this season. I will say, this postseason are 3-0 and ATS at home. So, got to kind of watch out for that, man. Um, and that's kind of played a reason why I like them in Game 3. Jimmy Butler didn't play Game 2 in New York. We knew he ha they had some extended rest. He was going to come back at home, have a pretty decent game. And, of course, he did, man. 28 points. Um that's Jimmy Butler, man. I've said Jimmy Butler is the best player thus far in the playoffs, meaning if there was an MVP award, I would give it to Jimmy, and it's, it's not even close in my opinion. Um, all that said, I like the Knicks tonight, plus the four and a half, man. I really do. The Knicks, 28-16-1 ATS were they on the road this season. The Knicks actually hoop on the road. I said for majority of the season, man, the Knicks play their best basketball outside of Madison Square Garden. And down 2-1, to one, I expect them to put their best foot forward, man, and try to tie this thing up heading back to New York. Do they win it? I'm not sure. I don't need them to win it, man. I got this 4.5 in my back pocket. We got one of the best road ATS teams in the league versus one of the absolute worst home ATS teams in the league. I know Miami got it through the first game. Um, I was on Miami game three in Miami. I thought it was a good spot. Jimmy Butler coming off the injury. It was a good spot for Miami. But today, I don't think so, man. I'm getting back on the horse. I'm back fading Miami at home like I've been all season. I think the Knicks have a much improved game in this one. I highly doubt Julius Randle's going to go out with 10 points again. Um, I expect an improved game from him. Jalen Brunson had 20. He probably has more than that tonight. I know they don't have quickly tonight, but 
I still think they have enough offensive firepower. Tibbs comes up with a, a good defensive game plan. And I think this game is going to be more competitive than the first two. I think this is going to be a really good game tonight. And I'm going to take that four and a half in my back pocket. In our next and final matchup of the night, man, we got the Golden State Warriors out on the road facing the Lake Show, the Lakers, man. Lakers laying three, total 227. Lake Show currently leads the series, man, two to one. They uh, stole game one in Golden State. Golden State turned around one dominantly in game two in Chase Center. And then we came to Crypto last game, and the Lakers won dominantly there. Today's game is tough for me. I think it's the toughest one thus far in this series. Game fours are usually really pivotal games. And I think this game damn near decides the series. I know it sounds crazy to say that early in a game four in a 2-1 series. But I really think this game goes a long way in deciding the series. If the Lakers win, I expect the Lakers to win this series in about six games. If the Warriors win, this series is going seven and I can't call it. Um... That's how I'm evaluating this series. The way I'm leaning in this game, though, today, I'm leaning on the leg show, man. As the Warriors we know on the road, they are just terrible. Um, they've been that all season, and it's hard for me to want to bet them in a spot like this. I have the Lakers for the series. I think the Lakers are the better team. Um, they're a more complete team. They can beat you in multiple different ways, and I think the Lakers' mismatch is just... It's I'm not I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, but the Lakers have the bigger mismatch is what I'm trying to say with Anthony Davis. And I feel like if Anthony Davis goes out there and has the game he's supposed to, the Lakers win and cover this three point line. Um, I don't think Draymond Green or Kayvon Looney can hold Anthony Davis, man. The two games in this series, we've seen Anthony Davis go off. The Lakers won those games. Um, I can't trust the Warriors out on the road, man. Uh, the Warriors. 13 and 32 out on the road this season. I know a lot of y'all are going to say those are regular season stats. They're a different team, and there's some validity to that, man. But at the same breath, this is still the exact same team that's played all those games this season. And 13 and 32 on the road is not somewhere I really want my money. Um, yes, they have won two of their last three road games, uh, going back to those two in Sacramento, uh, um, game five and game seven. But... I would not be surprised if Golden State won this game tonight, but I would not want to bet that they do so. I think the Lakers match up better defensively than Sacramento did, and I think the Lakers are going to win this game tonight and take a 3-1 series lead back to Golden State. Golden State probably nine times out of ten responds and pushes it back to L.A. for game six, and that's going to be a really, really good game to see if the Lakers can close them out, man. But as of tonight in Los Angeles, I can't trust the Warriors on the road. Um, I love the adjustments LeBron has been playing, allowing the game to come to him. The role players have been playing nice. Guys like D'Angelo Russell, who had an amazing game last game. Um, Anthony Davis, those two, like I said, those two games, we've seen them step up. The Lakers have looked dominant. And if he plays that way tonight, the role players continue to play the way they're playing, and LeBron continues to allow them the game to come to him. All that said, man, I think the Lakers get this one done in Los Angeles, man. I'm going to lay the three. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on May 8th, 2023, man. Thank y'all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new and drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, can be found over at Pig Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page there. You can find my top plays, man. My $19 NBA Jam Session play, my favorite play on the board every night. In the NBA, man, we had a nice winner yesterday with the Philadelphia 76ers on the money line, man. We have now hit 8 of 11 on that play, man. So scoop it up. Trying to stay pretty hot on that jam session play. Keep it rolling in the NBA playoffs. And you can also find my $25 MLB play of the day there as well. We had a winner yesterday. Back-to-back -back winners with the Rangers, man, as they beat up on the Angels. Love to see that, man. You can find both of those plays. Link in the description. Hey, it's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. We covered the two games today. Super excited about today's action, man. I will be back later today with my live show, 3 Central, 4 Eastern. 
So come spend some time with your guy later on today, man, as we run through the card one more time. And uh, just love chatting hoops, man. So come spend some time with us later on today. Let's make some money tonight, man. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. I'll see y'all later on, man. I'm out of here.